Hi guys, welcome to Pro Photo Tips. I'm Daniel and today I want to uh, make a comparison about two lenses and to see which one is the best for portrait photography. The 50mm lens is a fast lens, which uh, means it's a great lens for portrait shoots and uh, it's one of the lenses that I use the most for my shooting. It's uh, quite wide on a full frame sensor camera and uh, you have a nice bokeh because of the aperture which is uh, f1.8. So it creates a really nice out of focus background when you take photos. One thing that I really like about this lens is that it's uh, really affordable for every photographer and the quality is really nice. The image, the photos are really crisp and sharp. The second lens is a Sigma 105mm f2.8 which is a macro lens it's a bit more expensive than the 50 millimeters one and uh, it really makes your photos pop out i use this lens only on uh, weddings because i really like to get some details from uh, weddings like uh, rings and uh, dress and uh, flowers it has a really nice quality of the image and uh, best for macro photography but I also use it for portrait because you really get a professional look on the photos that is enough with the talking let's go out and uh, test those uh, lens to see which one uh, takes the best portrait photographies I will use my uh, Nikon D700 as a uh, camera so both lenses will be tested on the same camera the full frame sensor and uh, they will have the chance to get the best out of them. As you can see, I attached some uh, photos out of the shooting and uh, I can't really compare them because uh, you have the 50 millimeters which it does fine for the price and also if you want to have like a wide lens you can choose the 50 millimeters but if you want like a head shot or just portrait shot and completely out of focus background I suggest you to go for the 105 millimeters because it gets the best details and the sharpness is really really crisp. The photos they were shoot in the same lighting conditions so uh, here is just the pure quality of the lens. Uh, now you can see it's not that much of a difference just uh, the 105 it gets you closer to your subject so that makes your subject pop out from the photo. After all, it all depends on what you need it for, because you can get the job done as well with the 50mm as you can do it with the 105. So if you need the 105, you can go for it because it's really good and it's top quality glass. But if you don't have the money, don't worry because you can go for the 50mm one, which is affordable and also you can get some really crisp images. That's it for today guys, thanks for watching, please subscribe if you're not already, please give this video a thumbs up if you really like it, it will help me a lot. Don't forget, if you want great photos, keep practice, it will get better, I promise. Until next time, all the best.